Impeller Error Points is a fantastic ground control point solution for those that do not already own survey gear. They're very simple. With each pack, you get 10 of these error points. Each error point contains an L18-L2 GPS antennae, a solar panel, battery pack, and a button. All you do is lay the error point out, press the button once, and the error point will record data for up to five hours. Once you finish, press the button again, and the error point will upload its data to the cloud as soon as there is a Wi-Fi network available. Due to the unique way that data is captured using a propeller error point, they are actually one of the most accurate solutions internally of any surveying method when it comes to drone photography. Ten of these working together using PPK can achieve an internal accuracy of sub 10 millimeters, and then the external accuracy is usually to within 30 millimeters. There are a variety of methods available for correcting the obser observations in post, and these are all done through the Propeller online portal. It's very simple to process your error points once you've finished your job. Simply log into the error points portal, scroll to the job that you're after, uh, that one there. It'll show you a timeline of how long the points were visible for, and up in the top hand corner we hit process. I then get given a series of options for processing. The most common one is the Propeller Corrections Network. This is uh, using a network of base stations around New Zealand um, to correct the job. Otherwise, I can use a global survey benchmark. That's where I place the error point over a known point on the site. I can also use a local site benchmark, similar setup. PPP is at a much lower level of accuracy, however, provides a much better level of accuracy than standard GPS. And finally, I can use data from my own base station to process the points. But I'm just going to load the points in the propeller um, corrections network and hit process. The corrections data is usually available within 15 minutes of the last error point being turned off. And there we go, within 5 minutes the data is all being completed and is available for downloading. So I go download. I have them in four different formats, two CSVs, a KML and a PDF. If I go to the PDF, then I get a nice comprehensive report that also details the accuracy of each point. Now in this case, park is at the bottom of a steep hill um, and sky visibility isn't fantastic, so our vertical axis is suffering slightly. We've got an accuracy overall of 3 centimeters on the first point, 5 millimeters on the second, 10 mil on the third, 23 mil on the fourth and 10 mil on the fifth point. Overall, however, though, these are very accurate points, all within 30 mil. With better visibility of the sky, we could easily get that down to sub 10 millimeter accuracy. For the Phantom 4 RTK, Propeller also provide a very convenient PPK solution. Combining one error point and the drone, one can use PPK corrections where it would be impractical or is impossible to use RTK. RTK may be unavailable due to a lack of connectivity, there's no cell service or Wi-Fi available, or the job may be so large that using the DJI base station would be impractical. In one such example, we have a very large beach in the Auckland area. This beach is around 16 kilometers long, therefore well out of the range of the base station. So the job has been done using propeller PPK. When we have a look at all the points, the GPS quality was good throughout the majority of the job and accuracy was generally to within 15 millimeters throughout. In addition to the standard steps when providing the propeller corrections or the base station corrections for the error points, you upload all of the image logs from the drone and it provides back a CSV with all the PPK image tags for the particular project. We're always very excited at Ferntech to showcase the latest and greatest in drones and surveying opportunities. If you would like to have a demo of any of the equipment that you've heard about, or indeed any other product, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We'll be running some nationwide demo days soon. Check the link in the description below for a sign up form. Otherwise, flick us an email, commercial at ferntech.co.nz for more information on any of the products we've discussed. <laughs>